there everyone. Thank you so much for coming back. I'm finally at the tail end of this flu, so I'm voicing over videos again. Thank you so much for your patience. But today I wanted to show you a lake house that I've built on my own. I've already done the remodel of the lake house that we are winning from this current event. And I just wanted to build something of my own. It's a rather large house. I really love how the layout turned out. I'm still a little bit disappointed that we can't do anything with the garage, but that's okay because like I said before, I really love these items. This exterior is my new favorite for sure, along with some of the furnishings. So we're just taking a look at the exterior here. I have put a side door, so I built it to where the front of the house faces the lake. And here is the main entrance here. So you come in and you just have a little tiny entryway here where I put a couple of the farmhouse light fixtures. And then you come through one of the beautiful wooden doorways into this large hallway. So there's a side entrance over there, which is technically the front of the lot. So it kind of has a double entrance and I've put the farmhouse stairs in here. I think they match the best with these items. I do wish we had more staircases, but hopefully in the future we will get some more that more match our railings along with our floors. But I think this looks just beautiful. You can see I've put two of the bay windows on either side of the entryway with some candlesticks on them and then the wreaths on either side of the doorway. And you can look straight through there to the entrance. So that's the front hallway. This sort of reminds me of little French doors and I wanted to put them here to go into this. This is not technically the dining room of the home, but I wanted to put just a cozy little room in case the people who live here have company. But this is my favorite room here. I love this living room. This is the formal living room. This house does also have a family room. I had posted a picture of this room on Facebook and I just love it. I love the reindeer on either side of the fireplace. So this would be the room that they celebrate the holidays in. And after the holidays, I'll just take out the Christmas decorations. And over here is the doorway that leads you back out into the main hall. So you could come through the little dining area over there or straight from the main hallway. And I've put three doorways here together just to open everything up. And you can either go through that doorway or the one from the main hallway into this room, which is the dining room and the kitchen. On this end, I put the dining room. I used the old stone wall as an accent wall and then found this old wallpaper that we've had since near the beginning of the game when we got the designer home. I thought it looks really nice with this new kitchen. I did, as I mentioned before, purchase those in an online pack. I honestly have to say that is one of my favorite purchases I've ever made. I did something a little different here with the fridge. I wanted it to look built in. I know I've used them in alcoves before, but I just put some doors there so it would look like the refrigerator doors match the doors in the room. And then through here is the laundry room. I've just put the washer and dryer and a cabinet and also a coat rack. There is an exit to the yard back there where the snowy woods are. So I wanted to put a coat rack there so they could just put their coats on and take them off as they came in and out the door. And then through here is the downstairs bath. It is a full bath, it's a three piece bath. You can see I've used the dark Villa Wood vanity and that old designer shower. It matches the wood on the wallpaper that we've just gotten along with the trim on the windows. So that's the kitchen, bath, and laundry room. And there's one more room on this level of the home and that's the family room. So we had a formal living room on the other side of the house. So back here, I've put just a family room. There's a piano back here, another Christmas tree, and then an area for them to watch TV, another fireplace, and some bookshelves. It's a nice big room. So this house is full of big rooms. There's also an exit back here to this patio where I've put a hot tub, a barbecue grill, and just a place to sit. I like putting these tables outside too because it gives your Sims the option of actually looking like they're doing work outside on their computer. And then that exit goes straight out here to where you can just walk down to the lake. So that is the first floor overview here. And then we're going to go upstairs and take a look soon. I do like this layout a lot. I was very pleased with how it turned out. I originally put a basement in for a laundry room down there and I had a staircase where you saw that piano, but I ended up taking that out. But keep in mind, as you look at the floor plan, that's an option and you can put the stairs there where the piano was. So coming upstairs, you have a matching large hallway above the one below. 
just put some pictures over the stairs matching bay windows over top of the ones that are on the first floor as you can see here and then where the entry is downstairs over top of that I've put a little music room so you can see through the windows there I put the green chairs from the coffee shop the record stand there and a record player so I wanted to open up that living room you saw below so I just put a balcony here and opened it up with the mezzanine. So if you're gonna recreate this, keep in mind this is more area upstairs that you can actually put bedrooms or another bedroom and bathroom. So when you see the rest of the rooms up here, keep that in mind. And now let's go over here to this side of the house and this is another room that you could also use as a bedroom. So I have this set up as a two bedroom, but if you use the area over the living room and this area here too, you would see that you could have two extra bedrooms up here and an extra bathroom. I've just set it up as an office. You could also put a door right there out to the balcony, so keep that in mind as well. So let's come back through this upstairs hallway here and you're gonna see a couple more hallways. When I build room by room, sometimes I have to do that just to make sure everything makes sense with the layout, but that takes you to another bedroom and bathroom. But through these French doors here, we're gonna come into a hallway that exclusively is for the master bedroom. So they have a little wine bar there and some books and you just keep going through here and you come into the master. I love this. This is another picture that I posted on Facebook and let everyone know this was coming soon. I love how those pictures look over that bed. And I said before in a video that I was gonna try the teal wallpaper with that bedspread and I think it just looks beautiful. The master has a view out to that lake and over here is just a dresser and a rug. Very simple, but very pretty. And just the farmhouse lamps on either side of the bed. So here is the ensuite master bath. I also kept this very simple. Not enough room for the vanity that's three spaces wide. So I just put a double vanity here. Just put two of the single ones there. And then through here is the master walk-in closet. Just big enough. And then that's the master suite. So we're gonna come back out here through this other hallway and come down it. And you have over here a bathroom. So it does have a door to the master. And I wanted to do that because it gives you options. You could have a his and hers bathroom for the master suite, or it could be just a hall bath, or it could be a Jack and Jill with the hall and this bedroom that you're getting ready to see, which I've set up for really anyone but I think it would be more geared toward either a guest room or just a room for an older son or daughter. So there's just a desk there, a TV in the corner, and I had a little alcove here, so I just used that for the closet, and I just put a doorway there, and it has its own little balcony right here over the back door. So that is what the upstairs looks like. Again, lots and lots of options for a floor plan, and you can really customize it and make it with any amount of bedrooms that you wanted to, along with an option to add a basement and where the basement stairs would be down there in the family room. So that's the overview of the second floor. I really like how that's opened, but again, you can definitely close that in and make more bedrooms up there. So next we're gonna go to the grid and I'll give you the measurements. This would be a great starting point here from the lower left-hand corner of the lot. First, I built on the little entryway here because I knew I wanted to make this actually the front of the home. Then I made the front hallway, very long, and then we have the living room here. So I had a space up front and I wanted to just make that a cozy little dining area off to itself. But I also knew I wanted to have a big entertaining area. So I made the big kitchen and it's really an eating kitchen with a dining area in it and then another family room back here where they can watch TV, the laundry, and the downstairs bath. So let's come upstairs into another large hallway here. It matches the one below. And then the little music area. And then we have the office or extra bedroom here. And then there's the total space for that area and then the mezzanine. And then you're just left with the balcony size that you want. And then we have the hallway that sort of connects everything over here. And then that's the hallway that leads to the master. There's the master bedroom, the master bathroom, and its walk-in closet is next. And then we have bedroom number two. 
in the little alcove for the closet for that and the balcony. So I know it looks a little bit complicated, but really it's not. And there's the measurement for that extra hall bath as well. So really not a complicated layout at all. It's just rather large and very customizable. You don't have to build it on the lake house lot. You could definitely build it on any large lot that you wanted to. My favorite rooms are definitely this living room. I absolutely love it. I really do like the kitchen as well. I think it's very pretty and I'm loving how this bed looks with the teal wallpaper. I also wanted to show a clip of them canoeing out here. I've seen some funny little glitches that the game's been doing with putting people in the water and then they have their teenage daughter over there skating. I think this is just the coolest lot ever, really. So thanks for hanging out with me this long. I really appreciate you all watching. If you liked this design, please let me know by giving me a like or leaving me a comment. I appreciate you all. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.